Hi guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. My name is Annika and here at Tip Ranks we love to hear what different stocks you're looking at and your opinions on the market sentiment. With everything that's been happening politically in the news, tech stocks have fallen, but the fundamentals for some of them have not changed. In fact, there's been some exciting fundamental news, particularly with Apple. A lot of it has been speculation, but some of it has been confirmed. So in this video, we're going to look at Apple entering the metaverse or not. We're also going to take a look at how this can impact Apple's long-term trajectory, particularly when it comes to its price, as well as whether it's a good investment because of whether they're going to enter the metaverse, a growing industry or not. And before we jump into this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. In the past six months, the word metaverse has been spelt out everywhere. Whether you look at tech industries, crypto, play to earn games, everywhere you look, companies are gearing up to launch products, services, technology that can facilitate the metaverse. And this kind of came about after we saw Facebook renaming itself as meta platforms and the fact that they're building their own metaverse. Now, Meta Platforms is the main one that is leading this forefront of digitization and the metaverse world. But many are speculating that Apple tends to not create the first of its kind. For example, they did not create the first smartphone, but they created their own and they perfected. And then they gained the largest market share for smartphones out there for their iPhones. And similarly, they did not create the first laptop, but they created the MacBook, which is something that is highly dominating the market when it comes to laptops. So many believe that Apple will look towards meta platforms and the existing metaverse that is being created by other companies, but they will perfect it. Now, although I've said this, it seems that Apple is willing to let the metaverse trend slide. Now, what do they really mean? Well, Apple actually gave a very tactful response when it came to being asked about whether they are producing their own metaverse. And Tim Cook said that the company is investing accordingly. But the biggest hint came when he mentioned that Apple has over 14,000 AR kit apps in the App Store. Also note, AR kit is Apple's augmented reality framework. This is the software that underlies the demos that you see at Apple events where people hold iPhones and iPads and they sort of point out objects that aren't really there. So the thing is, I think it seems that Apple seems quite opposed to calling it a metaverse in their ad campaigns. They seem to call it more so a version of connecting people in a virtual space rather than the word the metaverse. Many news articles have claimed that Apple will not get involved in the metaverse despite the VR headset plans. But excitingly, everyone is talking about the Apple glasses. And this is rumored to have a secret team of hundreds of employees working on virtual and augmented reality projects. So whether they call it metaverse or not, it seems like Apple is really exploring and delving into the VR and AR realms. On other news, Apple is unveiling a lower cost 5G iPhone at an upcoming event. This is the iPhone SE 3. This iPhone might provide a lift to Apple's smartphone sales, especially in emerging markets like China. Despite all these fantastic fundamental news and excitement for Apple, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has caused a tech sell-off and it's damaged giants like Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Microsoft and Facebook, parent Meta. Nevertheless, fundamentally and financially, Apple is strong. Their first quarter results of 2022 showed that revenue was up 11% to a new record all-time high. This brings us to a very bullish tip rank smart score of a 10 that Apple is very likely to outperform the markets. So it indicates that perhaps what's happening politically has only caused a temporary setback in Apple's price. Analyst ratings deem it to be a strong buy. Tip ranks investors are very positive. Both blogger opinions and news is bullish. Technicals are also positive. Hedge fund activity has also increased. We're in the green across the board. 
The current Apple price is $163.07. Analyst rating consensus, as mentioned, is a strong buy, and the analyst price target is $193.32, which is an 18.53% upside based on 29 Wall Street analysts offering 12-month price targets. The next earnings report date is on May 3rd, 2022, and this will be for the Q2 2022 period. Now, it seems that even if they report fantastic results, we might have to assess what the market situation is like, because if market confidence is low, especially if these political events continue until then, then we might not see an uptick in Apple stock price. But if things get resolved and we have more certainty in the markets, then we may see positive revenue results translate into Apple stock price. So guys, let me know what you guys think of Apple. Do you think they're entering the metaverse or are they being very secretive about it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. Remember, this is not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research before you invest in anything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.